This local sports report is brought to you by the Cambridge Minor Football Association. Register for spring and summer football today, ages 5 and up. More details at cambridgelions.ca. We were a 6-2 and two football team this year. There is our regular season. So you can see we came out of the gate super strong. We were 4-0 and when we headed to homecoming here against Western. Okay, then obviously we lost to Western at homecoming. We barely squeaked by, and it was an ugly win on the road against York, and then we faced extreme adversity against Guelph, where we lost to them at Guelph. Okay, so if you're an outside team looking at Laurier after losing two out of the last three games, and in fact squeaking by York barely, with a MAC team coming in here that had beaten up on Guelph by quite a bit, not to mention our starting quarterback got knocked out. It was looking doom and gloom before the eighth game of the season. But we roll out quarterback Tristan Arnn, who had never played before. We come together as a team, and offense, defense, special teams played our best game of the year and got ourselves a first round bye. Then in the playoffs, I think you know what happened. Obviously, we beat McMaster to get ourselves another chance at Western, and Western got the best of us. Okay, but let's remember, we didn't make it as far as the year before. And in fact, this is the first time I've ever stood in front of you at this dinner where we had invested the previous season's record. Okay, but I'm not saying it was a bad season. Obviously, we didn't reach our goals, but if I bring you back to 2016, we win the Gates Cup, we lose in the UTEC Bowl to who? The Laval Rouge Or, who went on the next week to do what? win the Vanier Cup. This year we lose in the Yates Cup to a highly motivated team that we stung the year before. Two weeks later, what does Western do? They win the Vanier Cup. So two years in a row, we our season ended to the Vanier Cup winning championship team. So we are doing great things here. We are an elite football program. And again, our goals are to reach that ultimate prize. In terms of our recruits, an outstanding recruiting class. Here are the offensive guys. And again, when Coach Cameron and I met, and this all started November 11th after the Yates Cup, we said, every single individual we meet with now, it's of the mentality, can they help us beat Western, Laval, Montreal, UBC, Calgary? If they aren't that caliber player now, or we perceive them being that type of caliber player in the future, then it's not worth spending our time. We're about trying to beat those programs. So there are the offensive recruits. Here you can see the defensive recruits. Uh, we're super excited about this class. And are we in a position where any one of these guys is gonna be forced to play right away? No, that's the beauty of it. We're gonna graduate some outstanding individuals, but for the most part, we have second, third, fourth year guys that have been in the system that long that are ready for the opportunity to play. Some of these guys, guys might see their name on a dress roster. Okay, in terms of the coaching staff, let's give them a round of applause. Guys, wave your hands in here. Okay, outstanding coaching staff. Uh, we actually house one of the smaller coaching staffs in the country. Okay, and that's not by accident. Our players get clear and concise messages. There aren't four coaches at one position all giving a slightly different message. Our guys are in tune with the system that they're coaching up and they do a great job. So we talked about what you can do in terms of helping us with the legacy fund. Obviously, adopt a hawk is a great avenue. But I would say, most of all, we would love to see you in the stands. Your support on game days means a ton to our players. There's nothing like running out of the tunnel in front of a full crowd. And what you are seeing each and every day is you're seeing a team that wins a heck of a lot of football games. At home over the last two years, we're seven and one. So chances are you're gonna see a win. Chances are you're gonna see records broken by some unbelievable individual performances. And you are watching future pro players. So thanks once again for being a part of tonight. Uh, we're headed in a great direction and excited to see you at the games this fall. Go Hawks.
For more highlights, visit our website, 519sportsonline.ca. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.